Hello, welcome back. And right now I'm going to go ahead and shoot a quick little video on how to collect some analog data. Before I do, let's uh, quick review of the chip layout. Uh, the pins that are closest to the chip are going to be your signal pins. The pins in the middle here are going to be your power pins. And the pins on the outer edge are going to be the ground pins. So when you get a sensor, like for example this Sharp, um, you'll notice the wires, three typical three uh, th three wire cable here, three colors, in this case it's orange, red, and brown. Normally, uh, hopefully everybody is going to make the lightest color wire, whatever it is, be the signal. And the outer darkest color wire is the ground. Uh, and this is another pretty standard con configuration here, yellow, red, and black. So you'd assume that the yellow wire is the signal and the black wire is the ground. So I'm going to plug this guy in right here. No notice um, I'm going to put it in A0, the very first analog pin available. It is not the bottom one. Okay, Remember that one right here is pin 13 and its female equivalent is down here. Okay, So it's actually going to be this second set of pins which is going to be A0. So I'm going to plug it in. My orange lightest color wire is closest to the chip. And let's take a look at the code. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you, um, I don't think it's on the menu up here. Uh, a good habit you should be getting into is cleaning up your code so it's easier to read. The easiest way to do that is to hold down the control key and type T and then you can see it auto formats your code in a nice way to make it look a little easier and prettier. Um, and I'm going to build on this code uh, hopefully in the next couple minutes in a way that we can sort of demonstrate um, how this actually all works. I'm going to start with a piece of lousy code just to get it going. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and copy it, paste it right there, and I'm going to take out this high world and I'm going to put in here analog read uh, a zero. Okay, so it's simply going to do it in one step. It's going to take the value and it's going to print it right off the bat. Uh, functional but terrible code. And actually, I'm going to increase this time frame to more like a half a second. And let's look at the data for a while. So let's get rid of this. We, want to, we don't want to get it stuck in an infinite loop. So now it's just going to give us value over and over and over again. Let's load it up. Let's see what happens. And of course, my serial window is still open. So it should just automatically load. OK. So we're getting some values here. I'm going to hold this in such a way. So now it's aiming over here. It's actually a clutter. I'll try to find a space. It's, okay, now I'm kind of aiming it out into the middle of my office. Uh, even though it's, it's not a very big office, so you're still going to get some data. And my hand is now coming in closer and closer and closer and closer. You guys can't quite see that, but I'm within about 6 inches. Um, I'm within about 4 inches. Actually, here we go. And now you can see my hand is right in front of the sensor and I'm getting variable data. Get it close, I get 900 and something, move it out a bit, let's see if the end here, this is my maximum range on the screen, 800 and of course if I go out further and further the number goes down. Um, so now let's take and clean up this code a little bit. We'll take a minute or two to just get some better coding practice in. First thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to finally start commenting my code. Um, oh, code by Brian. Oops, that was your spelling. And you should probably add a lot more information here. In fact, I'll probably pause it in a second, add a lot, but you don't need to watch me type. I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to create an int integer variable. Uh, I'll call it uh, IR value. And to make my code a little prettier here, let's give it a little space. Down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a line here. Make it the first thing it does in the loop is I'm going to have IR value equal to, and I'll just copy this. Okay, 
And so I'm going to take that data in. Oops, I'm going to make sure my A is small. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this order around and I'm going to print IR value. And I should see functionally the same output, but we're going to have a little bit more room to play here, a little better code. And I'm going to hit Control T, clean up my code. So we shouldn't see any difference in the output but it'll give us a little bit of uh, flexibility with our play here. And sure enough, I'll put my hand over it. You can see the numbers go up, down. Okay, all is beautiful. So let's make this a little cleaner. First way is it would be nice to have this actually uh, have some relevance here. I'm going to get rid of, in this case, the LN. So it's going to print on the same line. And I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to type in IR sensor equals. Okay, and then you should see is it's going to print it all in one line in a nice easy to read statement. Okay, again, it's cleaning up very nicely. The other thing I'm going to do in here is I'm going to take and separate these things by a dead space. There's a few ways to do it, but the easiest way is literally to just put in a, like that. And you should see that now we'll end up having our code separated here. Okay, once again, easier to read. Um, and just, I'm gonna demonstrate this real quick. Um, let's say, for example, you want to concatenate your string. You don't want to have a whole, look if you've got lots of variables. And I'm going to show you a whole little mini video on outputting serial. But an easy thing to do is I could just take and um, put my IR value on the same line. Okay. Now, that's actually not going to work. Because when I put it on the same line, I need to, I've, I'm, mixing, I'm mixing types here. So oddly, so I've got a, a character and I've got a integer. What I really need to do is now convert this, okay, into a string. So now everything that's within these parentheses is a character, okay, because I've converted it. And I'm going to get back my LN here because I want this on a line. And hopefully, we'll get essentially the same thing. There we go. Quick and easy. Let's get rid of this. We're done with it. And I'm going to pause this video right now or stop it right now. And we'll continue to play and build upon this. So I will see you again soon.